what I wanted to do with this piece was to literally just let pure emotion ride on the canvas. I, I wanted to look at a very special piece of music. Elgar wrote his fifth um, cello concerto and it's one of the most beautiful pieces of music you'll ever hear. And that piece of music was then played um, by Jacqueline Dupre very famously on her cello. So it's a very similar thing. My bow is, is my brush and my piece of wood is my canvas and the strings are the paint. In the same way that Jacqueline Dupre playing this piece of music talks to you in the most extraordinary way, the idea is that the painting talks to me and hopefully to others. Um, and it becomes this, this dialogue, um, very rich, layered dialogue. Mother Nature, the elfin warrior. If she danced through a whispering night, the night would bow to her scream. The shatterings of the moon, the stars basted in her translucent bloom. If her song softened as it pulled apart the wrongs of our world, a light would flicker and grow. So tall and majestic, her soul would feel its own beat too fast and it would slow. If her arms embraced the tiger's glare and all of us that stood by and watched her touch would slide across her hearts, striped in permanence with purposeful duty as she pulled our wagons and carts. If her heart beat once more through our mountains' veins, our rivers would feel her silvery glaze, her truth her spirit, her rippling beauty, as all our shudders would once again know their duty. If her eyes faced square on ours, the warrior's shield oval and protected, our imminent rise of elfin dance would soar with wings of purpose and a skylit lance. If her rumble began to roar, her ride roughen, spires sharpen, a sinking of the seas, as lavender's garden, her enchantment would crystallize our knees. And if we learnt a new sense of honor and bowed beneath her heart, our angel, swirling a mist of infinity, would find us quiet, still and deep within our holy destiny. She made us all we are today and taught us just what tomorrow is. She clambered, soaked and punched our land and now these untouched glitters rest forever in our hand. The elfin warrior, so soft and strong, found our arrows lying within the empathy of our land. Nestled in our chakras, bowed against all desire, our chance to understand, to reach and to inspire. As we push against the land that made us free, as the earth's crust bubbles beneath our feet, soldiers wrangle in our heads and beauty speaks in tones of dread. Spiky thistles become our friends Transient warriors lay passage in the wind. Whistled tones ringing with regret, but you and I, we rest and wriggle from their net.
as chambers from an ancient tomb, as wickers, weaves a lucid felt. The elfin land is all awakened. I'll hold you in my arms, a chant of pure protection, a land that's yours and mine, an embrace that can't be broken. Just love and all that flips and sings, just honour in its gentlest tone. Just me, as I stand, but with a promise, Lane, that all of us and all of me will love you in all your glorious entirety. I see, therefore I am, a legacy, my work ahead. To fully engage, nothing is anything in itself. It's about how we engage with it, what's in front of us, within us, reflected from us and all around us. To engage is to disengage and reignite a new moment of interaction. It's not about the size of our muscles that gives us strength to move and lift, but how we engage with their fabric, their core, in a spiritual, non-mechanical way, the transference of energy. The we that engages with meaning and poignancy is the we that disengages the brain, links to the energy around us and reconnects with the purity and humility of the moment. It is only then truly ours, where we are one with all forces that govern our existence and the existence of all that breathes around us. That's how each moment means anything, how it is born or realized. A shape, mark, color, emotion, vision or belief is nothing without our interaction of it, our moment of engagement giving meaning to the otherwise inert existence of a thing. It's not about how high the free runner jumps, but about how his feet engage with the floor. It's not about the artist's finished product, but about how he engages with his journey and the individual moments within his creative process. Life is not about the things we see, acquire, lose, regret, love or fear, but it's about how we engage with everything in front of us to establish our legacy, our imprint and the poignancy of the footprints we leave behind. To feel is only half the experience. To engage, actually engage, with the truth of that feeling, almost as a more intense form of breath allows the weaves of our universe to engage through us, within us and all around us. To make that feeling matter, to make it mean something beyond the moment and beyond the realm of our own existence, embedding itself in the fabric of all things that surround us. A sense of purpose beyond that of our intentions towards the electric kaleidoscope of intense deep-rooted, all-involving engagement. Everything can be held in a smile or lost in a frown. A moment blooms or dies. A moment breathes or is strangled by a lack of projected interaction. An inner understanding of the outward embrace. An impression of love expressed through a nurtured moment oiling the cogs in humanity's fragmented wheels. This is energy. How we absorb it, project it and paint it. Connected to the human spirit 
through humility and charged by a meaningful engagement of the moment. We tap into something greater than ourselves. The marks of universal consciousness are charged. The stage is set. The constraints of human intervention are removed. Our understanding of power and the clarity of our empty channel is realized. The dance of paint and of humility's dialogue with the soul begins. The image is realized, the narrative told. Emotion explodes out of the canvas. Connection of poignant engagement breathes deeply back into the canvas. The human spirit finds its voice as a whisper of the world is projected into the viewer's soul. Our moment is born. Humanity is tangled in dialogue and magic explodes from the centre of our world. An electric shock to the senses. Our soul awakened. Our spirit launched into the realm of eternal dance. Earth, wind, fire and water. Fully engaged energy seeping from our pores. A new adventure now begins. See you.
all the fun we used to have Even though I'm better and time has passed Now I wonder where your mind's at In my dreams I pick you up I just wanna make it right I know all about your troubles Wanna drown into your eyes And feel your blue sky there I'm Sasha Jaffrey, painter, I uh, live and work in London and um, was approached to create the um, Lion King elephant for the Elephant Parade. Disney's always been a big part of my life. Jungle Book, Lion King, um, I mean there's loads and they're sort of very, very important to me and they've been this big inspiration. I love the music, I love the whole escapism of it but I also love the fact there's always this little underlying message. I wanted to sort of touch on all those different stage moments, these sort of birds flying and then um, the stampede which is really clever that's a really clever moment and then sort of get all that across in the elephant but but also get across the story the sketch itself took two weeks um, to sort of work out how that was all going to develop painting hours I don't know a minimum of 200 hours but it's a real honor um, to do it and I want to get it right um, and so it'll just keep building and I'm very very near completion now so this elephant um, will be on display in Covent Garden from uh, the first week of May. There's close to 250 and then the 20 main elephants of which this one is one will be um, auctioned. This is my work. It's a philanthropic process, an effort to live in grace, realise universal consciousness, connect with humanity, reject the instant and false projections of the self, understand our true sense of humility, and then find, reflect on, and depict the soul of the earth, the fabric of our existence, our search for love. Live painting, and therefore with nothing to hide, I aim to get away from the smoke and mirrors of the dealer and the gallery, spend intimate and meaningful time with my collectors in my studios, covering as much of the world as possible, and build more poignant relationships with the people that end up owning my work, fragments of my soul sprayed all over the globe. Too many artists are hiding behind their galleries, factories, art consultants, dealers, PR machines and armies of employees deciding to instruct a team to produce their work so they can come in when it's finished and sign it before they then concentrate on the marketing, the PR, the smoke and mirrors and the selling of what they are still comfortable calling their work of art. In my mind, the process of creation, the journey, the inhaling of the paint, the deep engagement, each and every breath and silent moment is all more important than the finished product. Moments of creation are not owned, they are borrowed. And if we act in gratitude and surrender, and then give these borrowed moments back with grace, a sense of humanity, and an understanding of our own humility, as well as of the real existence of the soul of the earth, then these moments will come to us again. If we're under the illusion that this is our work, and that these are our creations, then they will not. I aim to completely disengage the brain, the ego, the constraints of human intervention, and then tap into the subconscious, re-engage fully through deep meditation, fall into a trance and tap into something greater than myself. My soul will then borrow a moment as I allow the paint to dance and drip down my arm, off my hand, through my brush and onto my canvas below. 
Raw and pure emotion flows from me as an empty vessel fills the room and makes my canvas its place to breathe and come alive. I'm just a spectator, often in awe of its superior lyricism and its majesty. A magical narrative then finds its voice and fills the canvas, hence magical realism. My work is surrealist, but I aim to keep the subjects in their natural environment, i.e. the cup on the table, the watch on the wrist, the boat in the ocean. The surrealism is achieved not by its position, nor its relationship with its environment, but by the magic that surrounds it and how it engages with us, the viewer. How it enters our soul, like an opera, a ballet, or a piece of classical music. Exploring the subconscious, the dream world, and the child within us all, keeping that beautiful gift of adventure and purity of thought and soul that only the child knows, keeping that alive. My hope is that my work acts as an electric shock, an electric shock to our senses, awakening what was sleeping, lost or forgotten, the greatest gift we are ever given, and yet sadly, the first thing we are taught to forget and encouraged to move on from, our child within. Love, out of the darkness comes the light. As blossom turns to snow, music turns to heat, and sounds are seen ahead. It's an exploration into and effort to find, reflect, depict, and then finally express through raw emotion, the magic in the mundane and over familiar and the journey into the dream world, the subconscious, and into ourselves, all within our own recognisable natural environment, the one we know, recognise, and live within, but rarely truly engage with, sparsely experiencing meaningful interaction. I aim, through my work, to strive, or give my best effort, to engage with the viewer in the most soulful and least conceptual way possible hoping and trying to keep the child's soul alive and present within us forever. It is not the darkness that we are afraid of, it is the light, remembering that we are the master of our fate and the captain of our soul, and that we should never hide our light under a bushel, no matter what illusions of service we think we're carrying out. His Unconscious Adventure Let me lie in a field and pass through clouds as they have never passed through me. Lose that sense of self that the adventuring child knew before constraint. Let me hover, find a new perspective, reactivate that memory that let me live beyond the grid. Let there be a birth of this dream, a happening that lasts forever an adventure that will allow itself to live, not just to begin. Let me lie in a river, feel the water overhead. Watch as blossom turns to snow and music turns to heat. It's my own adventure, where sounds are seen ahead. It feels as Kafka did, the doors will only open when this world is closed for good.
um, as I say, it's going to be a really fun evening. Uh, it's in partnership with the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge uh, and Prince Harry's Royal Foundation with particular focus tonight. Sasha Jackal. Thank you, everyone. This is my 18-year retrospective, um, which feels a bit weird. Well, 18. So I don't know if you can see the gentleman Billy at the back. Not even putting it up to halfway is there a £60,000 bid. 50 is the bid I've got at the moment. I'll take 55. The child within us, untouched beginnings. Imagine a world free from agenda, filled only with the scarlets of love, the oranges of purity, the blues of a cool and fluid feeling of freedom and hope, the warm yellows of a protected and uplifted spirit, the sparkling whites of a world untainted by the constraints of the adult's somber and spiteful intervention. The frosted pinks, fiery reds, and warm purples of a world where the spirit floats free above the nonsense. Where the soul is able to fly as it should, and then truly sing. It's that electric shock to the senses, awakening something within us that has lay dormant and dead for far too long. It's that chance to feel again, to see and to really live beyond the grid, within the dream world, the world of possibilities, boundaryless fields of imagination and hope. The world where the mundane and over-familiar becomes magical and playful again, bursting with the colours and spirit of true opportunities. It's the world of the child, the gift we are all given at birth and only live to forget. It's that chance to recapture the child within us. It's that narrative, that adventure that ignites our soul. Fueling our new journey, away from the expected, away from the planned, and filled only with the fires of our imagination and essence of the only one true freedom, the child within us all. It is the beginning recaptured and our chance to live again. The icons, colours, marks, dreams and fantasies of the child will guide us through this new adventure, past, present and future. We will spin, melt, fly, float and spiral in and out of a revived sense of the soul. 
and our hearts will be filled with a new feeling of honour, guidance and excitement. As it is this adventure that will remind us of where we all began and encourage us to take on the next stage of our life, our sense of the inspired, the child within us all.